you're going to make a digital portfolio using Google Docs. First, sign into Gmail. So go to Firefox down here, the orange one, and gmail.com. Sign in. Click your email. And then your password. If it, I'm under, oh, by the way, I'm under a uh, private window. You can do this if you choose, uh, so it doesn't remember your password. To do that, you just kind of go to Firefox, three lines, new private window, so it keeps you anonymous. But you could just open up on Firefox, just a regular browser window, and then if you click Next, if it asks you to save the password, just say no. So that's it. So you might have to check your phone and to log in. And to do that, you'll be in. The digital portfolio uh, project worksheet is here. First step, once you're logged into Gmail, is to click on your por the portfolio form link. So you click that. And then if you click the link, click the little link that shows up below it. Put your first name. <laughs> and last name. Put the period you're in. And this just explains kind of the process we just went through. So we already logged into Gmail, so that's that step's done. And here is the next step. This link will make a copy of my template. So if you click this link, it, it, it's trying to sign me in, but it just says copy, press the copy button, and then it'll open up in, it'll open it up. So it look like this. So you press the copy button and then it just opens up. And this is your portfolio now. So this, this is actually saved in Google Drive and I'll explain what that is in a second if you don't know what that is. So here's your portfolio. And you're just going to want to you know, change this title to your name. So change that to your first and last name. Get rid of this thing. Upload a picture here. So get rid of this and uh, insert image you can upload from your computer search the web camera all kinds of things you could do so put a picture there that you like and a quick little intro about yourself it could be a, just a, a one sentence of just who you are uh, think professional think like you know that the image should be as if you're like you know think of it just i wouldn't put like some some random image i would just put it you know whatever you want to do it doesn't matter just think professionally and uh, again this could be like uh, something that this could be an attribute that you have professionally that you want to showcase uh, like you're a business per you're into business you're into fashion you're into design or you already have something going just kind of a one-liner that explains who you are all right so put some things you're interested in some problems you want to solve uh, it could be in school your life other people's problems try to get at least a couple for each uh, people you want to collaborate with or you're already collaborating with just you know maybe you've worked with other people to solve a problem or a project that you've done or people that you want to collaborate with in the future try to think of at least one other person you'd want to join in uh, you, you want to form a team with that person uh, social social media links and your school email if you know it so your school email and uh, any TikTok, Twitter this is going to be helpful just to, if you post things and you want to showcase it to other people, this will be easier to find. Uh, you could also make another uh, Twitter or whatever a, a social media accounts you want to create. Like if you always use Instagram, you might want to make another one for educational purposes because we're going to be making some videos. In the, uh, and if you don't want to post it to your personal account, you could always post it in your educational account. So I just plop it there. Bare minimum, just a school email. Complete a project. So these are the things you've done so far in school that you think are noteworthy. Uh, projects you've done, uh, products you've made, things like that. Even even a presentation, a cool presentation you've made. Uh, and 
yeah, so post any links. Any links are better than just words. So hyperlinks right there. <clears throat> and you can add anything else you want to add. So this is your your one one page portfolio. <clears throat> and it's gonna be it's gonna grow as you create and make throughout your school career. This will carry you, uh, this will carry with you uh, outside of school. When you graduate, it will uh, follow with you because it's your own personal Gmail, so it's, it's all saved on Google Drive, which I'll show you what that means. Um, so again, you could read this. Just explains what, what the purpose of this is. I would bookmark this, um, this page by starring it, uh, or, or not. Just easier. Just make sure that you have a place that is easy to get to. And let's explain how to get to this thing. So where does it where does it get saved? It gets saved in Drive. So drive.google.com. It goes to your Drive, and it'll show up here. Refer, you know, just it shows the most recent thing. So there it is. And if you want to edit it, you just double click it, and it opens. And everything you do, it saves. I prefer Google over Microsoft products, but it's, it's all preference. Um, it's just really easy to work with, easy to collaborate. All right, now this is the next step. In so after you do all this, <coughs> I just I just showed you how to do the drive thing, just to show you how to get access to it later. But after you have that open, this is how you share this with me. So share, share button, and then anyone with link. And make sure this is, uh, you could choose, I would just do viewer, so they can, people can view it. Then copy link. So back in the form, so we just, you know, we did our name and then our period. And it, it explains everything we just did. So we clicked on the link, we, we made a copy. Uh, and bookmark it if you want. And this right here, this is where you'll paste it. So right click paste. And that's that share link to your portfolio. Submit. Done. Now this digital portfolio, just this the you know the main sheet, project sheet for this project. Now what's cool is you can see everyone's portfolio. If you click the portfolio responses, uh, here. click that, and then click the link below it. This will show everyone that does it. So it'll show your name, the period you're in, and your link. So if you click there, click there, you'll get access to everyone. Now why, why is that cool? Well, you'll see we can collaborate across grade levels, across periods, and I want to use this as a as kind of like a, a testing ground to see if we could use this across the whole school and across the whole district. So everybody can have a showcase page, and it's easy to collaborate. So let's just say you want to collaborate with somebody. <clears throat> let's just say you want to, you know, make another Google Doc or a slideshow or a, a spreadsheet, and you want to collaborate with somebody. So let's let's go through that process now. Go to Drive. Let's add a make a new Google Doc. And let's just say this is going to be about real estate. And you want to collaborate on this page with someone else. Click share. Let's save. I was asking to put a, a title in. And you can just save with any, with share with anybody. You can, anyone with the link. Now you can have certain people be a part of uh, this as well. So you could say, I want, you know, a certain person to be editor so they can actually edit this page with me. So only choose people that you trust, obviously. It'll notify them and then send. Or you could just say, hey, I want people to be able to comment on things so I can put things down and they can just add comments, which is this is the most uh, beneficial way to do it. So anyone with the link can be a commenter. Copy link. Done. Let's go back to your portfolio. So here's your portfolio. And you can say, all right, let's, let's do uh, um, 
works in progress. Bullet point is right there. You can highlight it, make it bold if you want. And this is how you make a hyperlink. So you can just control V, V to paste, and, or right click paste. Oops. Control V, hold control key, and then press V. And then if you press tab or click on this, it will kind of, this is called a little, it'll just show the name of the title of your document. Uh, you could have gone you know, and did real estate and then highlighted it and then link and then paste. That's like a custom link, but I just you know, paste it, press tab to create this little chiclet. And now if people click on it, they'll be able to comment on things. And so that what that looks like is they'll go to uh, the, the portfolio responses, which is here. They'll, they'll find you. They'll say, okay, click on that. Then click on your portfolio. They'll open this. They'll say, okay, cool, cool, real estate. Click on that thing. And once they click on it, it'll open up your document, which is this. Sell houses. Uh, houses, and they open it up to it, and they say, "Okay, highlight this." You could highlight a word, a phrase, and comment. So do I. Let's collab. And now you'll see their comment. You can respond to them. It's just really cool. So. It kind of like highlights this. So as you open this document, you can like click on this. It'll highlight the uh, comment. You can check it to check it off. It'll delete it. Or you can reply to them here. Like, wow, responding to myself right now. But you get the idea. <clears throat> uh, you can do emojis. Yeah, that's how you uh, do all this. You can create documents in Google Drive and and share with specific people to have them edit it, or you can change it to comment view, and it's just the flow of, let's just review the whole thing. So you go to the main project page, click on the form, fill the form out, all right? You sign into Gmail, you click on that link, it makes a copy of what I made, now you're, you have a portfolio page. is this, fill it out. Um, honestly, just, just this is, you know, what's due today, and the, the picture and a quick intro, change your name, read this, delete it if you want to delete this, uh, or keep it, whatever. And, and the next step was if you wanted to add more, more custom content, you can use Google Drive, drive.google.com, you can make a new Google Doc, or a, a, a slideshow, or a Google spreadsheet, or a form. You can make your own forms, just like I did. And then you can double click to open it. Once you're inside, you can share things. And then you can copy the link. You copy the link and paste it in your portfolio. This is your, so this sheet is like where everything goes. And then everyone can see the stuff you're doing on the portfolio spreadsheet right here. They can access your portfolio link and everything you're doing is right on that link. That's the flow of how to make a digital portfolio, how to add custom content, and how to collaborate with people.